The very first Lucky Craft bait that I ever saw was a Pointer 100 and it was in the ghost minnow color. And I'm talking, this is back in the late 90s. To see that Lucky Craft is still making ghost minnow is really cool because it has always been one of my favorite colors. It's a great clear water bait. It's a great sunny, bright day bait because it's kind of see-through. Real natural, it's not real loud, it's not real aggressive, and therefore it's been a really good bait. What Lucky Craft has done is they've done a couple variations of ghost minnow to help you get a couple key extra bites. Meaning that you're putting a lot of pressure on these fish using ghost minnow, you can change it up and add a little different flash and get a couple key extra bites. So, standard ghost minnow. This right here is the half metallic ghost minnow. What it is, is the top is a standard ghost minnow color. Well, the bottom is a metallic chrome color. So it's gonna add a lot of flash to that bait. That's gonna do two things. One, you're gonna create a lot of flash. Two, it's gonna make this bait appear actually bigger than what it is. When that bait dancing around down there, it's gonna create a lot of flash because of this metallic color on there. That flash actually makes it look like a bigger profile bait. Bigger baits generate bigger strikes sometimes. If you don't want that much flash, then you go to the silver cheek ghost minnow. So this is standard ghost minnow color, but it has silver on the gill plate and a gill kind of a thin looking thing on the side. So you have just a little bit of flash. This is just gonna add a tiny bit of flash to a ghost minnow that normally doesn't have any. The other one is MS ghost minnow. MS stands for magic scales. This is gonna add quite a bit of flash to it, just like the half metallic, but now it's different. It has just the magic scales on the shoulder of the bait and kind of halfway down the side. So you still have that translucent belly. You still have that olive-ish color on the back, but you now have the magic scales along the side. Tweaking a color and changing it just a little bit that's a tried and true color, and Lucky Craft has done that with these ghost minnows. Now, LV500, same principle. Standard ghost minnow, one of my favorite colors in an LV500, but guess what? Now we have the NC ghost minnow. NC stands for natural coating. And what I've actually done in the past is I've taken a ghost minnow and I take a real fine sandpaper to it and I rub it and just brush it. And I take that sheen off of that bait and it turns it into a matte finish like this. So we now have the NC ghost minnow. So it has that matte finish to it. It's not as shiny. It's just kind of a dull. And it's something that I used to do with that standard ghost minnow. And now it's in production. Then, like what we talked about here, this is the silver cheek ghost minnow. So it's gonna add that flash kind of on the head here, on the, the gill plate, it's gonna have that flash. It's gonna have a little side fin flash to it as well. But overall, it's the standard ghost minnow color. Then, half metallic. Here's just, you know, another tried and true color, chartreuse shad, but with that silver cheek. So it's gonna add that flash to it. Some new colors that Lucky Craft has come out with that's really just a, a little tweak off the good original colors, they're available at Lucky Craft. This bait right here is BDS 2.2. What's interesting about this bait, one of my all time favorite crankbaits that Lucky Craft makes is the BDS3. And it has this little bit slender profile to it. It's a big bodied bait. It's a big crankbait. But what I really like about this 2.2 is it has that same body style as the BDS3, but now it's in a smaller package. Now this is gonna be something that's highly pressured lakes, cold front coming in, downsizing that bait to get a few more bites. The unique feature about this bait, it's not a square bill, but it's a short bill. So it's a shallow running crankbait. Most crankbaits have just a wide wobble to it. So the BDS 2.2 is gonna have a tighter wobble than a 1.5. But the unique part about this bait is it has a little roll to it as it's wobbling. So it's gonna have a different action to it. That different action is what really makes this a great bait because it's different than those other crankbaits out there. Anytime you can throw something different than what other people are throwing, that's when you generate those bites. Even this year, early spring, I caught a lot of fish on the 2.2. We were at uh, Santee Cooper. I was fishing in an area that was highly pressured. There's guys throwing wacky rigs, there's guys throwing chatter baits, there's guys throwing spinner baits in that area. Well, I could go in behind guys and get bites on the 2.2 because it had that unique roll to it, plus that action, a little bit tighter wobble, 
It was in the springtime, it was cold. Anytime you have that colder weather, a lot of times that tighter wobble is a better crankbait to throw. The 2.2 was able to get a lot of bites behind guys. Really quickly became a favorite crankbait of mine. So now the 1.5, the BDS3, and now I have that smaller version of the BDS3. And to me, this is a smaller profile than 1.5. So I can actually throw this in the same areas that I'm gonna throw 1.5 and feel like I have a little bit more of a finesse crankbait to catch the most pressured fish. Other unique thing about this, the castability. Looks like a fairly small bait, but it casts really well. So the tight wobble, the castability, that little roll to it is gonna be a key for getting a lot of extra bites. Now, some of the colors we have, we have some of the great shad colors, pearl thread fin, but this right here, just a tried and true spring craw. Spring craw is a great bait to throw in the spring. We have a green purple craw. This is gonna be when you get in clear water and they're keying on crawdads pre-spawn, I'm gonna throw that color. Table Rock Craw, this is a very popular color at Table Rock. This is one that, that they designed to really kind of key on those crawdad colors. Brown Craw, just a standard great brown craw. So you have semi-stained, kind of clear water. I'm gonna go with that brown craw because that's just a standard crawdad color in some of those clearer lakes. Then the Delta Crazy Craw. So if I want a little bit more flash, we have that darker back with the red, some chartreuse, stained water, that Delta Craze is gonna be a really good color. In fact, that was the color that I was catching them on at Santee Cooper. Now, one thing that I haven't talked about with the BDS, and it's the BDS-3, the 2.2, we talked about that bill. So it looks just like a 1.5, but it's not a square bill. One thing about having a rounded bill is that round bill is going to be better when you're fishing around grass. So if you're fishing a lot of grass, don't throw a 1.5, pick up this 2.2, and it gets through the grass better because of that rounded bill instead of a squared off square bill. That round bill goes through grass better. So the 2.2 is just such an effective lure and they are now available at Lucky Craft.